what Marcus Garvey Foundation has done for you right now? All right, for me, personal, Marcus Garvey do a lot. The foundation itself, not the man, because he did. But the foundation has done a lot for me. To be honest, I've known about the Marcus Garvey even before the course. Me did know about them when we first come out of Ghana, and them helped me come land in Ghana safe and sound and just. Auntie has been there for me a long time, and Finua say she's doing this yeah, is just another step yeah, to a higher level. Welcome to Kwamina TV again today too. I'm here at Kokrobete Accra at MMJ Foundation, Marcos Mosiah Garbis Foundation here in Ghana. I was here a year ago and I spoke to the people behind the foundation here in Ghana. And they told me they are going to open um, technical school or any continuation school or training school. Let me put it this way. It's a training school for people on the streets. They try to have that foundation to get people from the street. Um, of course, that leads on to more, you know, things like motor mechanics. Um, because you know that uh, battery powered cars is the future. Yes. That is coming. And we in Africa, we, should, we need to take the lead. Uh -huh. or we, we have to be up there in the lead in, 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 in um, revolutionary, revo revolutionizing our transport system. Right. Our people are suffering too much. Uh -huh. Our you people know, are suffering, are too, suffering much. too much. Yeah. So we came and have a chat. And again, a year now, I'm here to see how far they have come to. To me, I learned so things from uh, MMG foundation so mm -hmm. right now at first i was doing some bad things they were no good my name is damali i'm from jamaica i've lived other countries before i was living in the uk mm -hmm. at one point in time and then i felt like i needed to be a little bit closer to my people um as you know i've lived in jamaica grew up there but I'm an explorer. It's impacted so much in me. I've learned so much from it. Coming down from confidence, how to think outside the box. You just don't see as you see. You see and see beyond what you see. How far or how many people they have been able to get from the street? I say how many kids they have been able to get from the street? Keep watching Kwame Na TV, like, subscribe and share. Kwame Na TV promotes African businesses, home and abroad, talk to intellectuals, entrepreneurs and diasporans. If today is your first time coming across Kwame Na TV, kindly subscribe, help promote African businesses together, help us tell African story together, let's share our story, liking it, subscribing it, comment, it's part of your contribution, helping us to promote Africa together. Keep watching Kwame Night TV. Like, subscribe, and share. So come with me. Let's go inside and talk to the brain behind Marcos Mazaya Gabi Foundation here in Ghana, headquarters, Accra, Kokrobete. And you can see what they do here on the grounds. The students are just right there. We'll go and talk to them. My dad told me that if I wanted to continue, I had to take one year off to uh, like specify, like to know what I wanted to do, what exactly I wanted to go and do in the university. <laughs> so I said, he said, this is a good avenue. I can get some skills and then get some extra money as well. But my immediate plans was to get a work. job. Okay. Yeah, but after working with a lot of companies, how many, years, how many years did you work? I've worked. I completed um, tertiary twenty seventeen. I did my national service seventeen eighteen. So from eighteen to last, um, just this year, I've been working. Okay. I've worked with a couple of companies and some government institutions. But I realized that 
um, I need I need to have my own personal, you know, um, 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 skills, personal skills. There is a lot of people on the street, youth who don't have chance like people that grown up in the West. Youth who are struggling, but this foundation has taken it upon them to help people on the street. Keep watching Kwame Na TV, like, subscribe, and share. Mm, so I just want to say, um, I tag you? to all the students, they have been the most absolutely wonderful students. I'm telling you, they're here on time. They're, they do what they need to do, and they do it with enthusiasm. For anyone who wants to take part in this training, make sure you have mastered time management. Do not make lateness, uh, do not make lateness <laughs> a part of who you are, <laughs> because you will fail in this course. <laughs> and I'm so proud of you all. It's only six weeks, but I'm really proud of you all. Yes. But I also have to give thanks to KGL. KGL is our, our sponsors okay. who have sponsored this course, KGL Foundation. And they are doing a wonderful job here in, in Accra, across the country, helping young people and everyone to basically achieve. Yes. And that's what we are about, to making sure that young people can achieve their ambition, regardless of what their educational status is, regardless of whether they know anybody inside uh, government or inside any, you know, they can achieve, yes? And this is what we're about. We're not here to talk about this is Ghana or this is Africa. They know that that statement is banned. We don't do that statement here. There's nothing here that is, this is Ghana, yeah. yes? We are coming away from that because we are proud people, we are able people, we can achieve what we want. Marcus Garvey says, if the mind think it, the hand can do it. One thing I have seen in MMG is that they, they, they try to infuse into you that spirit that there is nothing like I can do or giving up. There's nothing like I can't. So that's what we're about. We're thinking it and we're going to do it. Okay. Mom, Thank you. I came here a year ago. Yes. We sat down here uh -huh. and we spoke about this foundation. Yes. Today, again, I'm standing here uh -huh. and I have seen that it has been possible. What is the difficulties, the challenges oh, the... that you face wow. before starting it? Because I will say, I, if I'm not mistaken, around this time, somewhere around 2022 uh -huh. or yeah. yeah. Okay, there so. has been a, a, a number of challenges, a number of challenges. There's still challenges now, you know, but, you know, we come to the conclusion that we have to start. There are so many people, so many young people out there that needs our assistance. Yes. What we are doing for me, I actually participate in the training. I do this completely free of charge. I don't pay myself. The first opportunity I saw was, it is free. Like, the thing was totally free. So why don't you grab such an opportunity? Because I feel that I've got something that I can offer. And I will offer it as long as they are able. They want it. And I see that they want it. They come here and they sit and they come on time and they, they come every day. Nobody does not, you know, give. Well, I won't accept any excuse anyway. No one calls me and tells me all the traffic or there's funeral or there's whatever. I won't accept that. I've told them. Okay. And they're here on time. Indeed. There are challenges that we have. We don't have. We want to start more courses. This course that we're doing right now is electro electrics and electronics. We've got the tutors, we've got, we still, and one of the things that we, we are offering for our students is at the end of the course, they have a, a complete kit, a complete kit to, start their, to own. start their own. Because, you know, from time to time, you do your training and after your training, you go home, you don't know where to start That's and you true. don't have the money to start. That's true. So we are giving them a complete kit. Okay. 
okay. that they can then, you know, be able to start on their own, start as, together as a team or whatever, but it give them the opportunity to start something. Yes, rather than going home thinking, you know, somebody needs to come and buy me a screwdriver or a, a drill or whatever. And they do. So we're going to offer all of that for them. Mom, I think whatever you are doing here, the students say it's free, but for you, it's not free. It's coming from somewhere. It's coming from Gavi. It's coming from Gavi. Without a doubt. So, so I mean, the financially. Ancestors, the ancestors is here. Financially, if someone out there mm -hmm. and come across this uh, um, um, video or this content, if it's the first time, come across Kwame Na TV and say, oh, this lady is doing very mm -hmm. well, helping people. I want to contribute. Okay. Right. Is the person allowed? Oh, by, by please, we welcome that so, so much. I want to, I'll give to you the platform, our, just our website, people, yeah. our Outside website, www.themmg um, the mmg.org, mmgf.org. So let me say that again, www.themmgf.org. We also have um, a GoFundMe. When you go to the website, you can go to the GoFundMe um, uh, link. And please, you know, by all means, we need, we need as much help as we can get. So when you're doing any electrical work here in, here in Ghana, sorry. Mm -hmm. you, do, you do need accreditation from the Energy Commission. Mm -hmm. That is true. You have to pass their examination. And what we at MMG will do, we will also help the students in um, paying for their exams um, so that they can get certified. Of course, it's going to be up to the students to show us their enthusiasm That's to good. show us that, you know, that they can pass the exam because obviously we're not going to spend a thousand Ghana CDs on you if we think you're going to fail the exam. So you have to show to us that you're, 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 you're diligent, you're, you're capable, capable of, yeah. you're capable and you're capable, you know, you're capable of passing the exam. And so we will help them, we will help them with that, you know, because mm -hmm. um, to work in, um, in any, uh, whether domestic or industrial situation, you do need, you do need to be yeah, certified. Yes. Yeah. So this is the big thing. This is not just a course where you come and you, you, you know, you learn a few things and then go. You have to pass the exams. You mm -hmm. really have to. Yeah. If you want to go further and, 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 and be employed in the industry. So that is, that is something that we are trying to focus on. Um, and encouraging the students to be mm -hmm. diligent. Yesterday we started our first practicals. I think everybody enjoyed yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was <laughs> explaining to them that to pass the exams, these practical exercises are 60% of the of yeah. the whole mark. So they, they should pay very good attention and, and you know learn Ten. as much as they can yeah. because in the real situation when they put you in a room and say do this do this you're on your own you really have to step forward yeah so, so the the el electrics electronics is a, is our first course but we aim to do um indigenous crafts like tie and dye um, and okay. dress making is traditional traditional mm -hmm. um thing we also want to do the solar energy that's really so, so, so important. I mean, we are blessed with sun 12 months of the year. 24 seven. 20, almost 24 seven. Yeah. And yet we are suffering from domso domso. What is that? Domso domso. Domso domso. 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 Uh, we, should, we shouldn't be suffering. No. We should not be suffering. Right. Yeah. God has given us everything we need in Africa. Why are we suffering? Yeah. You know? So we need to start, and this is what I'm, I'm encouraging our students to do. Think outside the box. Think, you know, appreciate what you have. So personally, since I came here, some of the things that I do has really changed. My, some of my friends said it's uh, time management and my, how I, my budget, as, as in how I spend my money wisely. I used to spend messlessly, like I spent, like you blow it in Kaswa. You understand? <laughs> when I end it, I just don't put. I just don't spend. You don't plan it. You just, you just, you just blow it. Appreciate yourself. Appreciate Ghana. 
because anybody who reads from this course and tell me they're going with the skills that we've te taught them to Europe, I will personally go for them myself. <laughs> that is great. We need to build Ghana. We need to build Ghana. Yes. We need to build Africa. <laughs> Keep watching Kwame Night TV, like, subscribe, and share. And as I said, with all this thing, cannot be done without money. That's yes. why I say if you are outside there and if you want to help, so far they say they have three students which some people has taken them or adopted them, but the rest 12 are still there. And also still more students are behind the door oh, that they want to list. enter yes. in. So if you are out there, no matter how much you got, if you say, okay, I can give 10, 10 pounds in a week or I can give uh, $10 in a month. I mean, anything that you have, we don't ask them for much. Yeah. Bring it. And if you also have any equipment, as I understand yes. the last time that I came, any equipment mm -hmm. about solar, about electronics, anything carpentry, that I saw, carpentry, carpentry, anything that you have craft, there. Anything will help. Anything that you have there, anything you have sitting down in your cells or in your in your in German, they say in a killer, that not using it. In the attic. Or uh, in in UK, it says share. In the attic. In the attic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have it there, not using it. Yeah. Just bring it down to okay. MMJ Foundation here in Ghana, uh -huh. and there's a lot of kids here there to use it. We need to build on our future. And our future is our young generation. We are on the top of the hill going down. They are at the bottom coming up. So we need to basically encourage them on how to make the changes that's needed. Oh, okay, I'm the administrator. I do the day-to-day -day administration, filing documents and replying emails. Yeah. And then see to whether the students sign in and sign out and whenever like whatever they need for their practicals, I provide and then I take care also of their equipment. Yeah. I like the change, I like the environment, I like the students I'm working with and they really make me happy. I would say people should help, especially with fans and also with equipment because we are really doing something different here, something good, especially acquiring skills. I'm also still learning to make Africa great what it was, again. what it was, and that was great. Yes. So, you know, it's all down to you all, because as I say to them, them is that they are the beginning. They will be telling their children and their children will be telling their children. So they are now the beginning and we need to encourage that. So please, anyone with uh, equipment that they're not using, a drill around the corner, around the, around the, at the end of the garage, please let us have it <laughs> because they need it here. Okay. Because so they need it here. They do. Keep watching Kwame Night TV, like, subscribe and share. As I'm saying, if you have any equipment there that you are not using it, mm -hmm. as mom is saying, as uncle is saying, also financially, I keep on mentioning financial. Yeah. They are not mentioned financial because I know what is in yeah. here. To even teach a child, for them, even to use the light, mm -hmm. it's very expensive. Yeah. So financially, I mean, if you have one dollar, if you go to the website, which will be on the on the description, also we put it on the screen as well. Mm -hmm. If you go to the website, how to donate, and please donate. Let's help. I am doing this by coming here, talking to them, and bringing it outside. So you guys also have the finance, then push it there. Let's help this youth. The future of Africa. I don't say Ghana alone, but it's the future of Africa. Absolutely. They could go all over Absolutely. in Africa yeah. to help other people. Keep watching Kwame Night TV, like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Bless you. Keep watching Kwame Night TV, like, subscribe and share. I'm here. We are still at MMJ Foundation headquarters here in Accra, Kokobete. And I'm watching Kwame Night TV, like, subscribe and share. As I said this morning that I'm coming to Kokrobete Mam Cos Gavi Foundation, where they started here in Ghana. I mean, or the headquarters in Ghana. I came here a year ago and I spoke with the brain behind 
MMJ Foundation here in Ghana. They are sitting down at my right hand side. These are the people I spoke with. And they told me they are going to start a school. And they have started. And they have about 15 or 16 people. 15, 15 yeah. people now. And as I said in the video, that nothing goes free. The school is free, but it's not free. It's free from their pocket. <laughs> and this is where we want you to come in. I mean, at least anything that you have over there you want to contribute. You saw the school student. You see, we have about 15 big boys. And we have lady in all over from Jamaica also making impact. Or the school is putting impact in her life. What I want you to say is the foundation is there. We are saying Marcos Gabby Foundation, but there's money to run it. Mm -hmm. yeah. If they have facility, they will have take, I think, more than oh, necessary. Yeah. Yeah. But because they don't have a big place, they've started in the garage. But no matter how, they have to start. Mm -hmm. That is why they start. Yes. So, That's auntie and uncle, yeah. I want you to tell the people outside the what help you need. Mm -hmm. And I know definitely that they are listening to you. Yeah. Well, you know, the fact is, when we advertise this course um, at the beginning or at the end of last year, beginning of this year, mm -hmm. the response we got was really incredible. There was people calling us from, um, from Kumasi, Tamale. from Tamale, wow. from Takaradi, wow. from you name it. There were people calling. I, I think Ghana. the whole of Ghana. Ghana people were calling and they were asking, well, why isn't there a course like this in, in Eastern region or in, or, or in Bruno Hafa region or in Tamale? But of course, we, 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 we can't, we, we, don't can't, have the we can't stretch. Mm -hmm. So it shows the, the demand. On the, on, on the, off the top of my head, I would estimate we had about 200 applications. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we had to narrow that down to 15. So can you imagine the demand for, for this course? For this yeah. course. Because I, I, I think what we try to emphasize is the, is the practical side of it. Because, you know, a lot of students, they go through a lot of training, but a lot of it is very theoretical. And they don't get the chance to have hands-on practi practice uh, within their, their, their training. So that is what we do here. We, we give them uh, the opportunity to do practical stuff. So when they leave here, they'll be able to do stuff, not just talk about it. They'll be able to do it, you know. So um, in terms of what we need, unfortunately, we, we've had some funding from KGL which is a local um, organization that funds local projects. They've been, they've been very helpful to us. And we're hoping that this will be the first of many other such sponsorships, support from um, organizations who have you know, sent applications out um, internationally and waiting for replies, et cetera, et cetera. But if people want to um, help us, uh, I think that that would um that would also help you can contact us um via momo we have a mobile um, mobile money mobile mm -hmm. money yeah. setup the number is zero two four eight five zero two three seven eight you can get us you can send money so that means MMG if you are in ghana if you're yeah. in ghana. Ghana. if you're outside you add plus two three three yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. right and the, we also have a gofundme page that we have set up um that um is gofund gofund.me dash um bfb41371 we will give that to you where you can put up put on, on the on, description on, on, well. on, the, on the screen there's also we have an email address info at the mmg.org you can contact us through that um we also have a website although the website is in the process of being upgraded at the moment because we need to in, um, include all the stuff that we're doing here in on the new website, but we, we are in the process of doing that. But a, a lot of the information is also on Facebook. Facebook seems to be our main outlet these days because, <laughs> yeah, but everything is there. All the information is there. Um, the progress that we make, we are making with the students and so on and so forth. It is all there. So if, if um, people want to contact us, 
you can contact us via the various um, social media platforms as we've just um, described. Yes. Yeah. Mom? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I do. Um, really, we've just started with the electrics, electronics course. Okay. What our plan is, we won't plan on doing um, solar energy um, uh, installation and maintenance. That's so, so important that once we've done the electrics, electronics, we want to get sponsorship for the solar because that really needs to be, um, it needs to be a catalyst here because we don't have, people don't seem to um, understand. We've got sun, you know, 12 months of the year and we're not utilizing it in the way we should be utilized. So we want to do the solar um, installation and maintenance. We also want to do carpentry and joinery. Yes. We also want to do the indigenous um, crafts and um, we want to want to do also want to do the car mechanics. But that's basically down in the brain because we need premises to do all of those things. Yes. So the idea was that we get a premises to start the, the, these um, courses. But then we realized that that wasn't coming. We didn't have the finance to do that. So we decided, you know what, we have to start. So we started in our garage. So we've got 15 students in our garage right now who are basically taking that, taking our courses. And we just have to, you know, emphasize and thank KGL Foundation for helping us to get this far. Yes, we can't thank them enough. Yeah, but we need the support of everyone. We need the support, you know, not only finance, but actually um, tools where people, where, where our students can can basically um, start doing things. As These I said, tools, yeah. as I said, we we want to give them a tool set, a kit, toolkit at the end of the course, so they can actually go out and start doing something with the skills that they have learned. So, so they need the school empty handed exactly. and they still go out there with uh -huh. yeah. So enough. we want to basically give them a, 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 a little Equipment. help on the on the ladder. Yeah. We want to push push them up on the ladder a little. Um, the previous I was low esteem but when I came here low self esteem yeah, yeah. I get more confidence to speak to people, to communicate with people, that can really help me. What were you doing then? Oh, at first I was working with an ECG, under a contractor, subcontractor. Okay. So, so in electrical? In electrical field. Um, I've gotten a more experience in the electrical uh, field. And I want to know more about electricals. Okay. That's why I came here too. And so that they can then, you know, take off on their own. So please, we need help. We need the, those people who have got, you know, an extra drill in their garage, extra screwdrivers, extra, you know, um, tools so that they are not using. You know, please contact us. Yeah. Our number is, my number is 0543 um, and we would appreciate any help we can get, okay? Because our future is in our children. Our children, if we don't look after our children and show them the way, nobody is going to show them. So we have to make sure we do that. For me, coming to this training school, the course is an investment in myself. Okay. It's giving me a skill. It's making me meet new people. I have now time to put into myself for something that's of a greater purpose i'm learning something i've never known before i'm learning something that i can take with me anywhere everywhere there's electricity so i know i'll be needed anywhere i go <laughs> ghana i did some research and ghana as we know it is pretty much like the fastest upcoming african west african country at the moment and i wanted to see what it had to offer and it's offered me a lot. And that's what we're trying to I'd like to inject a bit of history, yeah. as I'm the history man. <laughs> <laughs> In that, um, we must remember, going back to Marcus Garvey, um, when Marcus Garvey founded the UNIA in 1914 in Jamaica, one of his first projects was to establish 
a vocational training college in Jamaica. Right? So, um, as, as a matter of fact, one of the reasons he went to America was to try and get funds so that he can start the school in Jamaica. So he actually went to America to meet this guy called Booker T. Washington, who had already started a, co um, a training college mm -hmm. over there. Tuscany. Tuskegee Training College. So, but unfortunately, by the time he reached there, Booker T. had passed. And then Marcus Garvey got caught up in the whole American politics, etc., etc. But the but his original aim was to um, raise funds oh, to go and start a training, a vocational, a vocational training. training college in Jamaica. Yeah. So it's like we are where we are now is exactly where Marcus Garvey same, was. Yeah. Um, um, how many a uh, uh, hundred years ago years or whatever, ago, trying to do the same thing. Ago. So you see how history repeats itself because mm -hmm. basically we we here in Ghana we're in a very similar position where where Jamaica is still is and was back then because mm -hmm. we have a high uh, unemployment, very youthful population, but a very high unemployment rate and he was saying the best way to get bring the unemployment down was to give these youngsters skills, skills so that they can go out and earn money for themselves start their own business look after themselves and their family and don't become dependent or become criminals or whatever and it's exactly what yeah what we're here trying to do now so it's not as if we're reinventing the wheel or anything we're just Following the follow record. continuing the works of Marcus Garvey. Legacy. His yes. legacy. That's all that's all we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that Marcus Garvey said, think black, dream black, eat black, and everything that you do has to be black. Yeah. And that is where we support yes. mm -hmm. black businesses. And everything else will fall into place. That's right. And he also says <laughs> what you think, if your mind think it, then your hand can do it. Mm -hmm. So let us we put our hands together and let yeah. let it happen. Let us make it happen. Let us make it happen. There's so much talk and talk and talk. We need to make things happen. Now. Action. 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 And thank you very much for coming thank once you. again. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Always come. Yes. yes. Always come. <laughs> okay. <I'm> always come. <laughs> come. Yeah. Can I say keep watching one night if you like, subscribe and share. And as I said, come and support. Marcos Masaya, Masaya Garvey's Foundation, Foundation here in, in Ghana, Accra, in Ghana, <laughs> Accra, yeah. Kokrobete <laughs> Training Center. Yes. 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 Come and start. I said, every little helps. Yeah. Every As little helps. There's a phrase in Jamaica that says, every nickel make a mocker. <laughs> right? Every nickel make, make a, a mocker. Every nickel <laughs> make a mocker. <laughs> and one one cocoa fill a basket. And one one cocoa filled basket. <laughs> <laughs> one one cocoa filled basket. <laughs> cocoa. Yeah. One one cocoa. What is that? Coconut? <laughs> no. No. Cocoa. No. Cocoa. <laughs> one one cocoa. Cocoa. Where you get your quantum relief? Um, my colleagues. At first, you know, we're all shy. We're all standing up, looking at everybody to see how it works and so and so. But I feel like we've really grown closer to each other um, because of the course. I've gotten to learn about new people and how they do things. You know, all my colleagues like Banku and I'm the only one who doesn't like Banku. <laughs> what impact has this uh, uh, foundation has put in your life? It's, it's improving, improving our lives. lives. Yeah. It has what? Well, improving our well. lives. Well, what Marcos Garvey Foundation has done for you right now? All right, for me, Personal, Marcus Garvey do a lot. The foundation itself, not the man, because he did. But the foundation has done a lot for me. To be honest, I've known about the Marcus Garvey even before the course. Me did know about them when we first come out Ghana. And them helped me come land in Ghana safe and sound and just. And she has been there for me a long time. And Finua say she's doing this. Yeah, it's just another step yeah, to a higher level. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The message will be a washer and say, Baby, I will be a way a idea. Ebe Brown, Unchessica Bia, Banabesian, and Jumana Fabo Bra, MMG.
be an abyssance and Juma, and he said, What is it? Yeah, yeah, announcement. And I said, Oko Facebook, which mark of Facebook, MMG Foundation. Bit me follow her. A baby, I'm ready to say, Oh, my side, yes, I'm ready. Wait to me, Abba, no, be sure, dear. Free, Nadia Bob, Brian, I'm in Shram. But that's also for. No, I mean, Tom, I came off your marketing, MMG Foundation, dear, I can see Shamoni, and a quality. No, I mean, Tom, of your money. Me, no, 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 Inta makeni, inta makeni ya kesi, ya fe ne ba ni, ne ba adi, ah, yeah.